Okay, we're going to wrap up part three of this series, I guess. Uh, I got the wheels in. And I got the tires. And I got the rollers, the new rollers in. So, make sure there's two in here. Let me open this thing up. Yep, two new tires. Go ahead and replace those real quick. Maybe real quick. We'll see. Little crusty tires off of here. Things must have been stretched out pretty good, huh? Right, let's see how we're going to do this. Yeah, it's <laughs> not going to be as easy as it looks, is it? I suppose I could heat it up, maybe. need three hands to do this. Which I don't have. Thanks. Let's see. What if I do this? Let's see if this will work. There we go. Put some clamps on it, huh? Make sure it's on there real good. Get the other tire off. I'll do it with my other tire. Two tires on. All right, give me just one second. I'm gonna do something. Okay, I had to go get my glasses. Let's go ahead and uh, reassemble this thing. crap out of this wheel. A little grease. Put that on there. We'll 
grease in the clutch. There's a whatever you call it. The little bushing. Doesn't need a lot. Pop that on there, take these out. Put the old clutch back together. It had a little grease on it, so we're going to put a little grease back on it. My wife, she can't see no more. She said, Let me go ahead and put this down. Grease on it. It's a little layer of it. We're building a clutch assembly here. Ah, I'm tired. I just drove six hours. Fun stuff. Yeah, I got that one on. Put one of the cogs on it. I don't really know which one was which, so I just really don't have to grease both of these. Uh, that one down. That's not how that goes, is it? I got it back. It's this piece goes down first, and this one looks like it went like that. Yeah, and this one went on top. So I'm just going to grease this top side of it. Since that piece has already got grease on it. Slap that down, which I think I slapped it down. Ah, this is the bottom. I don't know that it matters. It probably doesn't. I'm like, why aren't there any wear rings on that side? Ah. They're all the same, but I'm trying to put it back together like I had it. There goes that. Yeah, and this little piece on, on top of that one. And then this one here, that gets all the friction goes on that. I wonder if turning them over would help. I don't know, they don't look that bad. They're just shiny. They're not really grooved or anything. Little grease on that guy. Like so. Put the retainer on it. And then we're just going to impact it down. I don't know what the torque specs are. If there are any. That's kind of how it was anyway. So. There we go. Alright, I've already got that greased. Let me get this bushing cleaned out. Wrap off of it. There we go. 
go. Got that nice and cleaned out. A little grease around it and in it. This one spins freely. around the outside of it or on this little ring here it's a little plastic washer there we go now need a retaining clip I hope it's in here I don't know what I did with it right here right. glasses on If I remember correctly, these things barely fit in here. And there we go. Okay, those are on. Go ahead and put the wheel covers back on it. So the rear. Hand tightening on it. Uh, I want no one to come out. Oh, no, no. oh, that's right. That whole thing is loose. I keep forgetting about that. Show is shaking. Okay, put that back together. Let's put the new rollers on. Front guide and rear guide. So, yeah, that's not what came out of there. If I remember correctly, one of those is really short. Try to stand or something so I can show you guys yeah one of these was really short well she had a track better now huh oh, yeah I see it's kind of buggered up Get her tight. Get her tight. New rollers. Oh, that was look a lot better. Yeah, it's not bad for 150 bucks for the saw. I want 100 bucks for that, and 50 or so dollars for the parts. I mean, it was a 300 dollars saw. And then a front guide.
There we go. Yeah. What else? I guess we can take these. I'm not sitting on this liquid. Need some Vapo Rust. See, it just gets all that rust off. I mean, look how black. Oh, don't lose it. It's got black there right now. Look a lot better. Look a lot better than what they did, huh? Okay. I'm going to put the front shroud on. Yeah, give me just a second. I'm going to go clean these up a little bit. Okay, got them cleaned up, so slap the guards back on them. Two, three, four, two, four. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have some leftover parts. Because I'm not going to be putting the guard back on. Nah, I'll probably put that back on, but... Now I'm gonna make this into a uh, into a stand. I'm gonna build a stand into it. Or build a stand around it. It'll get me some steel manana. So I can build it. And again, this isn't like a factory restoration or anything, obviously. It's just a refurbish of a, a hand tool that's going to be used. So, I'm not trying to put this thing in a museum. I'm trying to get it to good functioning or good, yeah, good operation, operational use. I've been making a little switch box on the stand too, so I won't be doing anything with this just yet, but when I make that video, it'll be in that video what I'm going to do with it. I was thinking about pulling that handle off, and I still might. Uh, because this is never going to be used as a handsaw again. I'll just go, I'll go get me another one if I need one for that. I haven't needed one. My projects and things I do don't really require a handsaw. <clears throat> but, certainly use a bandsaw. Oh, oh Nat. I don't know where these gnats are coming from. It's that time of year. It seems like this time of year. Every, every year I get these little gnats everywhere. I got them crawling all over. I don't know where they come from. It's not like I got fruit. It's a fruit flies. It is. It's not like I got fruit laying out. Oh, I mean, I have fruit, but it's clean, fresh fruit. You know? I don't know where they come from. Alright, so. I'm going to see if I have a little, something a little better. Well, I guess I'm going to take that out, don't I? That's the old T20 there. Okay, so...
guess that's to keep it tight, huh? Let me lock it down so it don't spring back on you. No, that was not how it goes, though. Seems like it does like that, it just doesn't fling over that much. Alright, I'm gonna have to look. Okay, well, I didn't have a, a screw to fit in that, so I guess I'll get one. I'll order me one up. Sure, I can just order that. Yeah, sure, I can just order the. Okay. Wife came back in here again. Anyway, I got me some Dewalt blades. Uh, I hope they fit this. I, I think they're the right size, 44 by 7 8. So. Anyway, we'll see. Get one apart there. Put these back in the old box. Set them aside. Grab the old one. Yeah, that's it. Why wow, those teeth are gone on that sucker compared to these. This is 14 TPI, which is two per inch. We want the cutting blades to go down. Slide it in the rollers there. Oh, I should be wearing gloves for I cut myself. Get around that new tire. And hopefully I don't have the same ah, in the up position. Stay in there, baby. Around that tire. Around that tire. Yes, and I do. Get her on there. Make sure she's in. Went around. Grab it by the blade. No, don't do that. Lock her up. There we go. Now, let's see if she runs. nice and smooth. Alrighty guys, anyway, uh, 
I'm gonna tell you to refurbish a uh, what is this new this one here? A 63, a 6238-20 with the high-low switch on it. I'm gonna have to figure something out if I mount it to that. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I don't know how I'm gonna make that. But anyway, guys, please uh, smash that uh, like button. Hit that uh, bell notification. You wanna see future videos? Please comment and. Please subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. Uh, next build will be the be the stand. So go get some metal tomorrow, and we'll get that started. Thank you.